What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Forza Horizon 5 here in the summer season of series number four. We're driving around in our Renault that we unlocked in the last video. So if you haven't seen that, definitely go check it out. But today we're going to be jumping into the last seasonal championship that we've got. And that is the turbocharged cross country uh, seasonal championship. So... Um, it's actually going to finish out this uh, weekly Forzathon challenge just because you can actually do this while you are doing the seasonal championships. Uh, basically, it's just having any of those cars from the um, country rivals, which you have to drive in those championships. So if you do the championships in the right order, being the road racing, then the dirt, and now the cross country, you'll actually knock this out at the same time. So um, we're going to go ahead and jump into turbocharged to get that 2019 Porsche Macan Turbo. All right, and here's the first car that we're gonna be using. Um, if you're new to the channel, I use three different cars in these championships just to show you guys different options. Um, you only have to use one car. As you heard, somebody screaming by me here on the airfield uh, runway, but you only have to use one car. Um, so I use three just to show you different options that can be used. So our first one that we're starting out with is the 1995 Volkswagen Corrado VR6. The share code and the or the share code for the tune, along with the tuner's name, will be up on the screen now. Uh, but we'll jump into this and see what it can do in this cross-country circuit at the airfield. All right, sticking with the the summer wet season uh, weather here, we got rain and yet another championship race. I think we've had rain, or at least after rain, in all of the events so far. Um, this is a cross-country event, so you want to make sure you're aware of that um, when you're choosing a car. I'm just going to try out the Volkswagen just to see how it can handle. Obviously, this is a circuit race, too, so it's not as demanding as some of the sprint races. Whoa, that just nosedived there for whatever reason. That was weird. We're going to see if it does that on the next lap through. Uh, but the Volkswagen might not be the best option. Um, it may be a good option, I don't know. I mean, it's getting past these cars pretty easily. Um, outside of wanting to do an absolute nosedive on that one ramp. But it may have just been a glitch in the matrix. So we'll find out as we continue and go across that ramp on this coming lap. Obviously with this being a car, it's gonna be a little less uh, punchy on the objects that you may encounter on cross country events. So it can slow you down in that aspect just because it doesn't have a lot of mass behind it. But we're looking good so far. One lap down and we are up in the first. Um, I think what I'm going to do is skip towards the end of the race, just so I'm not wasting your all's time. Uh, you guys sitting here watching me race uh, the same thing over and over again. But I did want to go over this ramp one more time to see if it does have that same effect. I mean, it's like it... It's weird, because it like took off, like it almost did a wheelie going up the ramp. And kind of threw off its center of gravity, it seems, so... Um, I may skip to the, the next lap at that ramp to see if it does the same thing, and then we'll skip towards the end of the race. So I'll see you guys here in just a second. Alright, we're coming up on the ramp again. Let's see what it does here. So I'm going to look at it from the side. Yeah, it's strange. It like gets itself into like a rotation as you go on, like as you come onto the ramp, so... That's weird enough, but anyway, we'll jump towards the end of this lap, and I'll see you guys in another second. Alright, and across the line we go. We had a really good lead on the Drivatar, so the, Vir the Corrado might be a really viable option in cross-country for this uh, seasonal championship. So, um, let's see how long it takes for the Drivatars to get across the line to see how much of a lead. We had an 11 second lead on second place. So, I would say that's a very viable option, um, for sure. So, as you can see, we got 20 points for coming in first on that race. Uh, this is a championship race, or championship series. So, where you actually finish in the actual races 
Well, let me rephrase that. You do not have to come in first in all three of these races to win the championship. If I hit next or continue, this is the leaderboard that you need to be in first place on at the end of the three races. So as long as you've got enough points to be up in first in this leaderboard, you don't actually have to come in first in the three races. So let's go ahead and jump into our next car and we'll jump into our next race. All right, something I want to note real quick before we look at the next race or look at the next car. Um, we did get the weekly Forza Thon challenge completed by doing that uh, cross country event. So that's good to see. But our next car is going to be the 2020 Land Rover Defender 110X. And the share code for the tune along with the tuner's name will be up on the screen now. So let's go ahead and jump into this next race and into this Land Rover. All right, here we go. So Las Ranas cross country. So this is just a sprint race, point to point. Um, so we'll see what this Land Rover can do. Again, sticking with the wet weather here in the summer season. And down at the bottom, you can see that trial of race or triathlon of racing is complete. Um, and that was that weekly Forzathon challenge. And down the hill we go, up into 6th. So let's just see if we can carry through some more of these positions. Take a little wider turn and then the Dravatars, but that's okay. And we got around two of them. Around another, up into 3rd. Trying to hit the gas a little too much around that turn. That was on me. I'm not a big fan of cross-country racing. I'd much rather do just road racing or dirt racing i don't like going over all this terrain and not having like a dedicated path but that's just me let me know what you think down below in the comments so we got two other defenders up ahead of us let's see if we can't get them passed by the end of the race i would imagine that we will be able to Ooh, hard landing that's another thing i don't like about cross country races one bounce can absolutely wreck your race Ooh, that was smooth. Just on the inside of that drive guitar. I think he's going to get that place back, though. Maybe not. Um, yeah, cross-country races are just a little too bouncy. They're a little better here in Her Horizon 5 than they were in Horizon 4. Um, but I'm just still not the biggest fan of them. Like that... Um, the circuit that we just did with the Corrado, I wouldn't even consider that a circuit or a cross-country race, honestly. Like, yeah, you're going, you know, off of a beaten path or whatnot, but it was just relatively smooth compared to, you know, what I picture cross-country racing being like this. Man, we are really putting up a... We're having time with this thing. It is super-duper slidey. It may just be me not being used to it yet. Um, so that's kind of a perk you guys get just using one vehicle. Is you don't have to worry about, you know, getting a feel for different cars. Um, unlike me where I use, you know, three different vehicles. So that's three different adjustments that I kind of have to make. I'm not going to be upset if we come in second place here. Um, I definitely don't want to come in third. But we'll take second place. There we go. I'm fine with that gun. The Defender might not be the best option there. I know we got beat by one, but may not be the best. So, at least for my driving style. As you can see, we got 16 points. If I hit next, we are tied for first place with Slingshot right now for first place in the championship. That just means that we need to beat Slingshot in the last race. So, we'll go ahead and jump into our third vehicle and into that last race and hopefully bring it home. All right, our last car is going to be the 2021 Ford Bronco. So this thing's supposed to be an absolute monster in cross country. We'll see if it can live up to that reputation. The share code for the tune will be up on the screen along with the tuner's name. But let's go ahead and jump into it and knock out this last race. All right, here we go with the Tropico cross country sprint. And like I said, jumping into that Bronco, um, we'll see what this can do. Let's see if it can live up to the hype that it should. It's being 
a pretty dominant cross-country vehicle. Of course, it always depends on your tune. And I don't think that we've got a bad tune on this one. Uh, we've got a tune from you, Grundy. And rarely, if ever, has it let me down. Or has he and his tunes let me down. So... Um, we'll see how we can do as we go through the ruins here. Get bumped by a Dravatar. Again, another Bronco there fighting us for position. Need to find Slingshot and see where he's at. Because if he's up in first, he might be one of the Land Rovers ahead of us. It looks like he's in second right now. Like I said, we really just have to beat Slingshot, so... As long as we can do that and come in like second place or so, I think we'll be okay. Starting to get a run here on the drive tires. We're gonna use the. I'm just gonna bump slingshot out of the way. Sometimes you gotta use drive tires like that. You just gotta use them to uh, get around the corner a little faster, and you know, just take it as that. So. We've got two of the uh, Renaults, I think that they are, up ahead of us. Uh, obviously their cars are definitely a little bit faster. We just took that turn way too wide. Kind of hold a lot of speed through it, but... I don't know that we'll be able to catch up to first and second. They're a little quick, for sure, but I don't know if that'll cause us any issues in the positioning or in the points positioning. If we could hit some water, that would be great, because it would slow them down tremendously with them being that low. Well, that's some mud. Um, I'm gonna bump second place out of the way. And take that over. And now we've just got one car to chase down. I'd be very curious to know how that Corrado would have done in all of this, so. Because it may have been a better option for all of it. I'm not 100% sure. But we're going to get second place again. But again, that should not be an issue because we should be ahead in point since we beat Slingshot, who we were tied with. So 16, Slingshot came way down in eighth place. So we ended with 61, or 52 points, not 61. Um to win out the championship so if I hit continue this is going to take you to the race podium so we obviously didn't win that race we came in second but if I hit continue again there is that 2019 Porsche Macan Turbo for the winning the championship all right so there we go that is how you can win the turbocharged cross-country championship here in the summer season of series number four and unlock the 2019 Porsche Macan Turbo. If you don't already have it, just absolutely bodied that bug. Um, but yeah, that's a good example of showing that you don't actually have to come in first place in each of those races. We obviously came in second place on two of them and still won the championship uh, just based off of points. So pretty good example of that. Uh, so definitely don't worry about coming in first place as long as you've got the points uh, You should get that car or the reward whatever it is There have been some bugs with Forza that have prevented people even when they win the championship from getting the reward uh, Hopefully that's been fixed with This last update that came out a couple of days ago, but we'll you know only time will tell on that um, but I hope you guys did enjoy the video or found it helpful. If you did either, definitely leave a like on the video. Definitely get subscribed for future Forza Horizon 5 content just like this. But other than that, I hope you have a great rest of your day, and we will see you in the next video.